Hello there guys, I do apologise for the lack of videos. Right, for those people that haven't noticed, Isle of Man TT, which in my opinion is one of the best games ever made, is on Xbox Gold, so it's free. So download it and just try it, it's brilliant. Right, I know a lot of people will think the same as what I thought before I bought this game, and actually thinking, oh, it's just one track. It isn't, there's a career mode with other tracks as well, but when you start playing it, like, you very quickly just fuck all those tracks off because it's, it's all about the Snaefell uh, Isle of Man TT mountain track and it's just brilliant. The game looks beautiful and what I'm going to do on this video, I'm going to try and do a lap without the driver line on because the game just looks so nice and that line, it just, it's just ugly, so we don't want that. So we're going to go solo, we're going to be going on time attack. Obviously, only I've got it on noon because it's easier to see the track on noon and I kind of need that when I haven't got the driver line down. So where have I been? Because I haven't made any videos. Right, a couple of things. I've been very, very busy with work I need to do for my business and that's going to continue. So I'm not going to be able to do many videos over the next week or two because uh, I've got a shitload of work to do. And I've also been ill. Uh, I had an allergic reaction to something. My face was all swollen up like a giant balloon. I've had diarrhea and all that nonsense. I, I'm not going to go into detail as to what happened, but I'm pretty certain someone tried to drug, drug me with uh, Escopolina, which is... The, the street name for that is Devil's Breath. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Look on YouTube and look for Colombian drug Devil's Breath. I think someone tried to drug me with that when I bought some street food and I had an allergic reaction to it. Uh, so I've been quite sick for the past week because of this. But look up that drug, it's just unbelievable what it does to you. Uh, it makes you extremely compliant to suggestion, a little bit like being very deeply hypnotized. So you have to do what people say. So they say stuff like, go to the bank and withdraw all your money and give it to me. Or take me to your house and load all of your belongings into my big van. Or they say, take these drugs to a foreign country inside your body. Or they say, cut out your organs and give them to me. And you have to do it. You have to do whatever they tell you. So it's quite extreme. But I think that someone tried to drug me with that and I add an allergic reaction to it. But anyway, let's crack on. Snay fell. Oh yeah, and one more thing. I was on my Xbox yesterday uh, and the day before. And there is a burning smell which I'm really not very happy about. I couldn't tell where it was coming from. I couldn't tell if it was coming from outside or not. So I've got all the doors and windows closed today. So if I smell it today, I know it's not coming from outside. I tried smelling the Xbox. It didn't feel too hot. Let's get this started. And uh, like the TV, I can't tell where it's coming from, but I really hope that something to do with this setup that I'm using right now isn't about to break. Right, I'm on the, uh, the CBR600, the uh, Xavier Dennis one, which you only get if you buy the sidecar download. But if you haven't got that, don't worry, because that's not free on Xbox Gold. Uh, the other CBR600 is pretty damn similar to this one. I think it's just as the edge. Uh, it's a little bit better acceleration, I think, because it's tuned slightly differently. It's my favorite, but the other bikes are quite similar. Well, the other Hondas. Uh, the, actually, the bikes do feel considerably different, the different makes of bikes. Well, the Triumph has got really good handling, but it's all about speed. Right, this game is just insanely good, but we're not using the racing, uh, the driver line, so we are gonna have some mistakes, so do bear with me. I'm gonna try and get a sub 20 minutes, which I have never done without the driver line. My best time with the driver line, though, is a 1935, I think on this bike, uh, but I'm not expecting to be able to get anywhere near that without the driver line there, because I'm, I, there's probably gonna be quite a bit of crashing due to uh, not, ah, fuck. I can't crash this early, what? Right, I always say, I've got a restart. I can't crash as early as that, that's just pathetic. Right, I always say, if I crash before Union Mills, I'm allowed a restart, that's my only restart, but on this, on no driver line, I'm not gonna say Union Mills because I will probably crash before we get to Union Mills, but if I crash on the first bloody straight before we've even got to a corner, then that justifies a, that justifies a restart, does it not? Yes, it bloody does. 
Sometimes you really can't tell where the track's going. Oh, I'm gonna crash again. No, I'm not. Right, come on, come on. Let's focus on this. Oh, if you haven't played this game, you are in for a treat. It is the best motorcycle racing game by miles that's ever been on any console ever. Uh, and I would say it's one of the, well, it's probably, in my opinion, the best racing, the best racing game, including all cars and motorcycles. It's too tight! Fuck! Oh, get back up! Jesus Christ. I'm really looking forward to uh, the number two of this, which uh, they are currently making. But I'm thinking, what can they do to make this better? I mean, the, the graphics are good on this, but they're not brilliant, so obviously they could make make the graphics better, especially the crowd, the crowd looks shit. But um, I think the other thing they might do, you know, which I'm really, really not looking forward to, is adding rain, right? You cannot choose rain, and I imagine that's something that they might add on version number two. Uh, if they do, that's gonna make it really bloody hard. Right, come on then. Right, we're at Union Mills. We've fallen off already. We're falling off again. I'm not going sub 20 minutes on this. I'm having one more restart, okay? No more. This is it. Last time. Last restart. And I'm going to try and be a little bit more focused as well. Let's see if we can do this. Sub 20 minutes. Drive line off. I've got like all the other shit on easy. Like I've got anti wheelie. I've got combined brakes. I've got uh, automatic gears. But this game requires focus. You need all those things. And normally you need a big green line on the floor telling you where, where the track goes, but I've not got that. Right, I'm gonna be a bit more focused this time. But sometimes you really, really can't tell where the track's going. Right, this feels better. This feels better. I'll see you in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Don't crash, bollocks! That's too early! Fuck. Oh, we've got that idiot outside with his silly car horn now. Ooh, I broke way too early on this corner. Oh, this is very poor. Very poor riding from me. It'll get better. Trust me, it will get better. Come on. Sometimes the shadows really hide uh, the track. I do think the uh, the noon settings are the the best for being able to see though. I'm not sure if you can get around that corner without braking at all. You probably can't. Well, I don't know. You probably can, to be honest, if you line your bike up properly. It certainly isn't very sharp, is it? All right, come on then. We're away. We've got past the point of no return. Oh, I feel so good. The sensation of speed. I'm not going to talk because I know that when I speak, the game uh, automatically turns the volume down a little bit and it just, the bikes sound good. So I'll shut up and you can listen to the engine. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, that was close. I know that corner so well. Oh, it's not even a difficult corner and I've ballsed it up. We've got to do better than this. We have to do better than this.
you really have to focus. Without the driver line being there, it's a, it's a very different experience. It feels much more realistic. You're looking at the line of the trees. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at things like I would be looking at them if I was riding my own bike, which I don't own. I haven't got a bike, but I did have one a long time ago. But it was only um, an NSR, it was a uh, 125. But, uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm finding myself riding like trying to read the lay of the road exactly as I would have done when riding my own bike. But I'm, I'm at the point at the moment where I'm not really taking the driver line on corners at all. Now in real life, obviously you do that on every corner. It's easy to do that. But this is more like um, trying to survive. So it's a, bit, it's a little bit different, but obviously on a game, you push it a lot more than you do in real life. But in, in real life, it's much easier to hit the apex of a corner because it's all physical, isn't it? And you're not driving at stupid hundreds of miles an hour. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I hate this section of the track, I really do. It's so, um, there's so many little bends which are just just all over the place. It's very hard to read where, where the road is going. Right, there we go, we've got through it. We got through it without coming off, that's beautiful. Close. Ah, oh, shit. Sometimes when you turn your wheel bites in, but it's just like that in real life. It's like the physics on this are so good, they really are. But uh, yeah, it's an absolutely beautiful game. It's so nice to play. It gives you the sensation of speed like no other. And sometimes you take a corner and it just feels absolutely amazing. But I do need to practice more. what the road's doing up here. Quick glance at the mini map. Okay, we're safe, we're safe. Douglas Corner, we are. We're going good. I have driven around this track in real life. I wasn't driving because I was uh, eight years old. I went to the Isle of Man and we, um, I didn't realise this, and I think I've spoke about this before when I made a video on this game, but I've spoke to my dad since, and my dad actually drove all the way around the track, so we did drive around the track. I couldn't remember that we drove around it, but we did. So I've seen all of this in real life then, but uh, many, many years ago. You have to be really careful on this little lip just here. That's it. If you don't, if you take that at any speed, it lifts, you you come off a little bit, and when you land, you sometimes just get pulled straight to the side. It's an absolute bitch. I'm really not pushing it. I mean, I, I'm not falling off much, but I'm not pushing it as much as I should be at all. I should be going a lot faster than this. 
I'm not going to get a sub 20 minutes at this rate. I have to start getting a bit more confident, I think. I'm so glad I've turned the driver line off. It just looks so much better. I might have a crack at turning the mini-map off as well and that thing up in the top corner. See, I normally have that thing in the top corner turned off because on this bike... Oh, bollocks! Oh. On this bike, you can see your time uh, on your actual... Um, on your bike, so you don't need it. But I was having a crack on uh, Pete Hickman's Triumph and um, you can't see the time on that. So that's why I, I added it back in and I've never turned it back off again. That was bloody ages ago, but I... I will turn that back off. I prefer to have it as realistic as possible. Right, time to open it up. Oh, it's not where I thought we were. We're at 10 minutes, and 10 minutes we should be uh, at the uh, the sharp right at the end of this straight. So we are down by about 15, 20 seconds. We should. This is where we should have been. Yeah, we're about 25 seconds down. We should have been going across this bridge around the 10 minute mark. Christ, we're 20 seconds off. can push it in the uh, in the mountains because it's easier to read the road up in the mountains so once we get up there we might be able to pull some of that time back got a bit nervous there slowed down a bit too much <laughs> too bad are we? We haven't crashed many times. We're not going to make 20 minutes. We're going to be close though, we are going to be really close. We're at the van. 11.30 plus at the van. It's not a good sign. This bit's horrible. Oh my goodness. Okay. Is this the bridge? Yeah, it is. I've lost it. Oh, damn. Okay, we, we're opening up into the uh, the hills in a little bit, where I think it gets um, a little bit easier, so that's good news. It's very forgiving when you uh, hit a curb. You can hit a curb at stupid speed, and it would absolutely throw you off in real life. You would be screwed. But it's actually all bollocks. It's actually quite forgiving. I, w I wasn't looking there. I was looking straight on, and then suddenly realised I've got to go to the right. So, uh, my bad. I wouldn't have missed that if the driver line was on, but I um, wasn't really sure which way I had to go. Alright, after this hairpin, well, not so much after the hairpin, but once we get up to the top of the hill, oh, fucking hell, it's all going to shit! Get back on the bike! Ah. Oh, I was going quite good. I mean, I wasn't on pace, but I was going quite good. 
took that too slow, come on. The bollocks! Oh, he's going really bad now. That's way too many slams. Ah. <sighs> See if we can, uh, once we've got up here, once we get past the gooseneck, let, let's hope that that's gonna be the end of the crashing. Uh, hopefully we should be all right once we're in the, uh, the open mountains where it starts to open up a little bit. Right then, that's it. Come on then, no more mistakes. It's so good when you get up to this section. You, the, the bike, when, it's, when you get up to top speed and the bike starts to vibrate, it's just amazing. Ooh. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, they could improve the crowd, couldn't they? They are a bit shitty. They could definitely improve the crowd. And some of the scenery as well, some of the trees are a little bit blotchy. Look, they look a little bit like a, a watercolour painting in the background. So yeah, they could, they could tweak a few things here and there to make it look nicer. And ray tracing, obviously. But they, they, when the sun glints off the, the edge of your, um, your what's it, on your fairing, that just looks amazing. Your windscreen thing. What's it called on a bike? Has it got a special name on a bike? I'm not sure. I'm going to be over 21 minutes. That's just so bad. It really is. But we'll keep pushing. a bit there. Thankfully I stayed on the bike though, that was good because I did go up the kerb. This left here, sometimes it just pulls you down the hill. You've got to be really gentle with this. And you have to count steer as you, you have to lift the bike back up. Otherwise it just pulls you and you, you end up going down the hill. I mean, it's just a slight, I don't know, maybe the angle of the road is a little bit weird. Oh, I love this corner and I've, oh, I thought I'd messed it up. Oh, I didn't do it good, but that's, that's one of my favorite corners. And, uh, and the, my second favorite corner is, uh, is coming up in a bit. It's just a, it's a very basic right hand, but it just feels so nice when you go round it. Oh shit. Just lost the back end. Oh. This is it, I love this corner. I don't know why, I just like it. It just feels nice. It feels like the sensation of getting your knee down. Uh, on a real motorbike, even though you're just sitting on your sofa and there's no knee anywhere near the floor, but it proper feels like you are actually getting your knee down. It really does. It feels so good. This one's nasty, this one here. Oh, shit. 
Ooh, bollocks! Whoops. <laughs> 1845. Oh, we ain't got enough time. I haven't really got a breaking point on this bit yet. I reckon just after that signpost would be the right place there. Yeah, it's, when you've been relying on the driver line turning red, you don't have your bloody breaking points, do you? That, feel, that feels good as well. I went too slow, but it does feel damn good. Beat 21 minutes. It's very poor, very poor indeed. So I'm a minute slower than my best time with the driver line on. I'm at well over a minute. 19.35 of my best time on this bike uh, with these settings, but with driver line. And look at that, a minute and, uh, wow, not good, is it? So 20.49, one minute and 14 seconds slower than my virtual best. Let's have a look at my, I think, that was one of my best, it's 19.35. Yeah, 19.35.069 is my best. 5.515 in the world on the same bike. And uh, do I have any friends that are in here? Nope. People do play this. RMA4, you play this, don't you? I think you do. I'm sure you do. But I don't know why you don't appear in there. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to have probably another crack at this. I'll tell you what, let's make a long video. I'm just gonna carry on. I'll do one, I'll do one another lap and we'll see how we can go. Right, come on then. Let's see if we can beat that. We're gonna get a ghost now, aren't we? So we can we can race against that ghost and we can see how well we're doing. I tend to push myself a bit more when there's a ghost. So that's uh, that's probably a good thing. Already feels better. No holding back. And I know the track a little bit more now because I've just raced it once. That's a better start, isn't it? Look where I am in the background. And I think I'm about to fall off on that corner, aren't I? Oops. It feels so good. It really does. It feels better than any driving game ever. It just, it really does. They've really got that sensation of uh, making you feel like you are on the bike just completely nailed. I don't know whether, it, I mean, I, I very much prefer this view on this game, so that could be a big factor as well. Um, I can't get on with the, uh, the chase camera on this at all. I, I really struggle with it. But uh, on other bike games, I do play chase cam. I don't play this view. I don't know what it is. But, um, but this view for me is bloody just perfect on this game. Yeah, we're away. This feels a lot better. 
we've got to get that sub 20 minutes. Sub 20 minutes without a driver line. This will be a first for me for sure. off here last time didn't we on this corner just here we came off just here so we've saved another about 10 seconds there Sometimes you look at the minimap and it looks like it's going to be a real sharp corner and when you get to it, it's fucking nothing. You think, oh, I didn't need to slow down for that. I know this left just here is hardly anything and I always, that, that is where I normally fall off because I think it's going to be a lot sharper than it is and I turn too sharp and end up hitting the inside wall on the left as I come around it. So I am starting to, uh, to learn the track a lot better, starting to remember some of the places that caused me a bit of, dr a bit of trouble and correcting my, um, my approach. That's all good news. Same with this corner here, I always think that one's sharper than it really is. I end up hitting the bank. Ooh, shit. Ah, oh, I thought I was gonna get a clean lap. Well, a clean, I, that would have been asking a lot, a clean lap. The furthest I've got before I've fallen off uh, was um, all the way to the, uh, the gooseneck thing. Uh, and that's really far, but I, it was a really shit time because I, I'd gone for so long without falling off. I started getting nervous thinking, oh, I'm gonna do a clean lap. So I started being a little bit cautious. Uh, from, from probably about this point onwards, I was being really cautious because I hadn't fallen off for such a long time. And um, so yeah, but when I got to the gooseneck, uh, I, I, I fell off and then I started actually going faster because I was like, ah, oh, fuck it, it's not a clean lap anymore. So yeah, sometimes uh, when you haven't fallen off and you get that thought in your head, it really cocks up your time you're just too cautious. You just got to push it, you really got to push this game. We're certainly doing a lot better than last time, aren't we? We can get a sub 10 minutes on that bridge, that would be nice. That would be very nice. I need to learn this part of the track. Oh, bollocks. I need to remember that there's a wall there. Camouflaged wall. There we 
we are on target for a 20 minutes here. Ah, oh, what? Ah, that was terrible. I never fall off on that corner. Sometimes you fall off somewhere you've never fallen off before. And while, while you're looking at your bike on the floor, the scenery is amazing. It's like a church, graveyards, and all sorts of stuff in the background. They've really done a good job, considering most of the time you're not going to see it unless you happen to fall off at that point. It's, it gives you a nice opportunity to have a look at how much work has gone into the game when you fall off somewhere, and you can actually have a bit of a look around, rather than just flying past everything. Oh, that's horrible. That's annoying. When you're, you're still trying to break so you don't fall off. I've lost my advantage look. My ghost is catching up with me. That's bloody terrible. That's, uh, that doesn't bode well for our sub 20 minutes, does it? If our ghost is, oh bollocks. The ghost is gonna overtake me. Ah, oh, there he goes. At least I've got someone to chase now. I always do a little bit better when I've got someone to chase. No slowing down for this bit. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> I've got to tell you though, the ghost, I did an all right first half of lap and then it went to absolute shit at the end, didn't it? So uh, hopefully on this lap, I'll do the second half well and get myself back in front I'll get back in front I'll chase him down look he's fallen off let's make sure I don't do that oh it's this bit I am going to fall off I'm going too fast for the jump right okay we've both fallen off that was absolutely shocking all right I'll catch him I will catch him mark my words this is going to be a better lap than last time it's not going to be a sub 20 minutes I, I'm really not doing very well at all but it is going to be better than the last one that's for sure I'm off again. Ugh. I need more practice without the driver line and more respect for corners. <laughs> so, all right, nasty little bends around here. But at least it's uh, it's like left, right, left, right, left, right, like that, and then it straightens up. So it's kind of easy to know you've just gone left, you've got to go right. It's, it's just backwards and forwards a lot. So it's not too bad. It's, uh, it's easy to predict what's coming next. So yeah, we should be, uh, we should be well, up, well past the bridge by now. We're a minute down. Broke too early. I'll real push it to catch up with my ghost. Oh, I'm off. Oh my goodness me. Oh, I was really hoping this second lap was going to be a really good one. I was feeling really confident because I'd, I'd sort of like um, practiced a little bit and uh, I got into it. And I, it's, as soon as I started, I was thinking, yeah, this is going to be good. And now this middle section is right gone to shit. I'm still determined to catch though, uh, catch my ghost and do a better time than what I've just, just done. Bends. Oh, we'll get back on. Oh, thank God for that. 11.45 at the van. Oh dear. Then again, I used to aim for uh, 12 minutes at the van uh, when I uh, first started playing this. So I'm doing better than when I first started playing with the driver line on, but obviously I don't aim for that anymore. Oh, 
really having trouble seeing where the road's going. Bollocks. <sighs> wonder how far behind I am. I wonder if I'll see myself again before we actually get to the end. I'm trying to think where I fell off previously and where I might be able to pull some time back by not falling off this time. Flipping hell! Every corner! Get up! Jesus! He's not that far away now. That's where I missed that corner look, so I was looking straight on. So yeah, I know, I know which way it goes this time. Gotta go right here. So yeah, I didn't fall off there, and I did last time, so that's good. So I've pulled back a tiny bit there, although I did fall off on the Parliament Square. did shit down here as well, didn't I, previously? Oh, bollocks. Sorry, guys, this is embarrassing. <laughs> it really is. I need more practice. But I'm not putting the drive line back on again. I'm, I'm now going to only race on this game without the drive line on. It's, it's something I've been wanting to be able to do for a long time. But uh, I only switched it off yesterday. Uh, that's when I, uh, I changed over to this. Ages and ages ago, I did try a couple of laps without the drive line on, but I was fucking useless. And then I didn't play the game for, for months. So, oh, get up! I bet he's absolutely knackered. Broken bones. Oh. He probably doesn't like me very much. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Xavier. Right then, come on. It's easy from here. Oh, flipping hell! Now to think, on my best lap uh, for not falling off ever, this is where I fell off. Right here on the gooseneck. That's a long way without falling off. Nothing like that today. I've fallen off probably about 30 times. Or maybe not that many. Probably about 15-ish, maybe, I don't know. A lot, anyway, and I'll probably fall off again before the end. Oh, there he is, there he is. Right, come on, let's push. Yeah, beautiful. We've got to keep pushing, we've got to keep pushing. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Well, we both messed up that corner, so that's all right, then. Hey, I'm away, I'm away. <laughs> Lovely, jubbly. Right, I really, I, once I started to really mess it up on that middle section, I didn't think I'd catch myself. I really didn't. So, thankfully, I'm going to cock up the rest. I'm going to get a better time. It's not going to be sub 20 minutes, obviously, but uh, it is going to be better than what I've just done, so that's good news. Oh, shit. I was looking at the map. Oh, oh I'm safe. Oh, I've lost it. I think I lose it on the other one here as well, don't I? No, I don't. Ah, bollocks. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Come on. Oh. Can't remember if I fell off or not on this. Uh, the rest of this section. gone wrong. It's gone very wrong. Hello folks. How do you do? Thanks for cheering me on. Can't afford to slow down for anything now. I knew I was going to do that. I knew it. I was like, it's gone really wrong. I don't think I'm going to catch myself now. I don't think I uh, fell off too many times on this uh, this final section. Oh, 
Oh, he's done that thing that I said on the last lap where you get pulled down the hill. I know, it's, it, it didn't do anything. It was me that did it. Yeah, this is, this is terrible. Okay, we're at the bungalow. What are we on? 17.21. And we've fallen off at the bungalow. Look at that road cone. Did you see that? This, this mysterious road cone. Oh, it's took me off. Oh, I'm done, I'm done. I, that's so frustrating, it really is. <sighs> Let's just take it to the end anyway. I wonder if this game's got a rewind. I don't know if it has or not. I really don't. I'll probably do really good now because uh, I don't care because obviously... No, I won't. Right, that is the end of this video. So 20 minutes 49 without a driver line. That is the best I've done without a driver line, but I've only done it a couple of times. But uh, 1935 is my best with a driver line. I'm gonna have another crack at this. Uh, being as this is now on gold, so I imagine a lot more people will be playing it, I'll probably do more videos on this because I felt whenever I'm playing something that a lot of my followers don't play, I always feel a bit guilty about it, really. It feels like I should be playing um, games that the people who are watching my videos are more likely to have, which is why I like sticking to the Xbox Game Pass games. But I love this. It's brilliant. If you ain't got it, you've got to get it. Download it if you're on gold because it just... It is, in my opinion, just one of the best games that's ever been made in all genres. It's just so good. The sensation of being on a motorbike is just done perfectly, and it looks beautiful. But I can't wait for number two. Really can't. Right, see you in the next video, guys. Probably be another one of these. Although it is Monday, so I need to... Uh, let's have a quick look, shall we? Let's have a look what the, um, the thing is. Come on. Where is it? Add more. Oh look, I can add RMA4 to my home. <laughs> I've never noticed it do that before. How weird is that? Add an actual person. Right, um... Right, is that this week? What day is it today? I'm pretty sure it is Monday, isn't it? I have no idea. <laughs> right, so midnight, uh, sec met. It is your birthday. Happy birthday. And he'll stream if he wants to. Let's have a look at his stream. We can't because my Xbox is too bloody slow. We're on Minecraft. Why is it so dark? All right, there we go then. We'll have a little bit of, uh, of this stream as we shut down the video. I don't know what this thing is. Uh, so has it not been done yet? So Aramay4, have you not done the, um, the thing yet? I'm not sure. We'll see. What are you building? Come on, put down some bricks. I think we're building some sort. I've never played Minecraft. I've had a quick look at it, but I've never actually played it. I like the idea of building ginormous, epic things. But, uh, but yeah, something I didn't get into. But I think if I gave it a chance, I really bloody could get into it. I want to see what this is going to be now. Well, this video is going to end up being as long as this stream is. We've got time. But why is it so dark? Is that just because it's night time on Minecraft? Hello there. Hello, mystical spot. Oh, they are organised. Damn those creepers. The, the annoyance of the keyboard. <laughs> Whenever I need to type something on the Xbox, I always have the, uh, the app open on my phone. So as soon as you bring up the typing thing on the screen, it automatically brings up your keyboard on your phone. You can type with your phone. And it's so much easier. This, what is happening right now, is in choosing a letter, is such a pain in the ass. Yeah, I think that'll be good. 
I think building a wall, putting some torches on it will be good. It's quite a nice area, isn't it? If they built the entire of this, this little village, that's quite impressive. That's a horse. Right, we're obviously going to be following Mystical Spot for a while. There's some shit in there. Yeah, I could probably get into this game, but I can't be bothered. I've got too many games that I've already properly got into. But uh, when, it, when it very first came out, I was thinking, oh yeah, I'm just gonna build massive, massive worlds. And then I just never really touched it at all. I don't know whether I got distracted by something else or what. But um, I didn't know you could have like uh, this workbench thing. Turn left, turn left, turn left, thank you. Left, left, stop, that thing there. Right, that was good. I'm glad that he read my mind and showed me the, uh, the, little, the little bandsaw. Not a bandsaw, is it? It's a table saw. Ooh. We have sheep. Ah, the game looks a little bit more in-depth than I thought it was then. So if you've got a table saw, I'm guessing that you can get shit to make more shit from. So gather raw materials and then build more things out of them. I really know nothing about Minecraft, as you can tell. I assume all you can do, really, is just go and hack pieces of rock and trees and then combine them to make more interesting things. I know the graphics are intentionally like this, but that sort of puts me off a bit, you know? I think they're too basic. I would like it if they weren't quite so basic. I know it's, um, it's quite cute, but yeah, I really do. I think that's the one thing that stopped me from playing it. Same as uh, World of Warcraft. My mate was trying to get me into that for such a long time, but I, I kept going to the character creation screen. And I was like, they're all really fucking ugly. I, I cannot make a character that looks like this, and the game just looks horrible. It really does. But uh, that put me off ever playing it. And then instead of that, I really got into Guild Wars instead, which the graphics are really quite good on the original Guild Wars. You're welcome. It's got a lot of fish. Imagine if they started having a deeply intimate personal conversation. I haven't seen your floating castle. I'm sure none of my subscribers have seen your floating castle. Do you want to show us your floating castle? Right. Who are we, who are we watching? Uh, Midnight Sekhmet. That's who we are actually watching. Now we all start somewhere. You're a lot faster than me on this, that's for sure. But I'm feeling slightly inspired to give it a go. And little do they know that we're spying on their ad techs. <laughs> Oh, I imagine you think, right, I'm going to watch this video of this dude racing around the Isle of Man TT. And then he gets to the end of the video and be like, what the fuck? This is my bloody, uh, my, my gaming session that I did with my mate, Mystical Spot. Right, and we're thinking, oh, we've only got one person watching and then they've gone and broadcast it to all their subscribers. Bloody cheeky, I tell you. I'll have to send you guys some of the revenue that this video makes. I'm going to continue watching and see what happens. I want to see this castle in the sky. Well, there's a floating spider. That's quite terrifying, isn't it? Mystical spot. Listen to my telepathic powers. Get your fucking castle in the sky and show it to people. We want to have a look at your castle. Right, we, everybody, we've got, to, we've got to focus and make him do this. I've probably got a chat facility, but I'm not going to bother. I'm going to continue spying from behind my cloak of secrecy and hopefully he'll just get his castle out in a bit. What's that? He's giving us something. Cheers, dude. Well, it's not us, are we? We're not playing. <laughs> Do you want some fish? We've got fucking shitloads. It's all got to go off. There ain't no way we're going to eat 52 fish before they go bad. Come back, eat some of these fish. Hey, little old man. Do you want some fish? Release some of the fish. I wonder if they're all dead. He looked pretty mean, didn't he? If I he's a baddie. Okay, these dudes are baddies. Chicharon. <laughs> there, was, there was some mobile Chicharon just there. You could have got that. Uh, 
Hey up, a hold. Yeah, there's definitely more to this game than I thought there was. I wonder if I'm still the only person watching. How do we find out? Chat, skills. Oh, two people. There's two people watching. Hello, wherever the other person is. So there's not just me. Someone else is spying on this game as well. I wonder if it still is your birthday or whether you couldn't be asked to change the name of your stream because it's been like that for God knows how long. It's like this dude who pretends to be homeless that sits on Oxford Street with a sign saying it's my 40th birthday today. He's had that same sign for about five years. I once gave him a very expensive uh, memory foam pillow because I'd just arrived in England, I got off the plane and I'd brought the pillow on the plane to make it more comfortable. And I thought I'm gonna give this to an homeless dude. And I gave it to him and then the next day, I saw him again walking through London, still with his sign saying I'm 40 today. And I was like, all right now, have you got any change? And he goes, all right then, mate. And I said, uh, where's your pillow? Uh, I gave you a pillow yesterday. And he went, oh, I left it at home. And he went, mm, like that, and then sort of like backtracked. And he was like, uh, somebody stole it while I was asleep. I thought, you lying little fuck, you're not even homeless. That's the last time he got any of my money, I'm telling you. That's disgusting. But uh, yeah, this, I, I, I actually went back with two pillows because I put two memory foam pillows on the plane, one for the seat at the bottom and one for the seat at the back. And I thought, that's made my economy class seat really, really comfortable just for the sake of buying two pillows. And I thought, I'll give these to uh, homeless dudes when I get back to, um, to England. And I gave the other one to a dude who was homeless in Soho. And I saw him again later as well, quite a long time later. And he still had the pillow and he remembered me. And he was going, oh, thanks, thanks. That pillow's so comfortable. So yeah, it really, really paid off. But the other fucking cheating little shit who, um, I, I saw a documentary once where there was this dude, right? And he got family, wife and kids and everything. He had like an important job in the city and he got a bit pissed off with his job. He had too much stress. So he fucked it off and he used to leave his house in his suit in the morning and he'd go and get changed into shit clothes and just store his proper clothes somewhere. And then he used to go and sit on Oxford Street in London and just begged for money. And he made more money doing that than he did from his job. I was like, you cheeky motherfucker. Because some people who are genuinely homeless and they kind of really could do with a bit of a handout. I mean, to be honest, I think they should learn about the law of attraction and get themselves out of their situation. Learn about people like Joe Vitale or countless people that have been homeless, use their mind power to change their situation. This is one of the reasons why I disagree with socialism and, uh, and, and things like that. It's because when you give stuff to people, or if they've got a safety net, they, um, they tend not to realize that they have this tremendous power within themselves to create their reality by focusing on what it is that they want to manifest. And once you've got this thing that gives you stuff for free, then there's never any need to explore things like that. So I think that robs people of power. We've got people like AOC in North America who is fucking harping on about how capitalism is really bad, having money is bad. But holy fuck, is this castle in the sky? <laughs> fucking awesome. Right, they harp on about how we've all got to get our money and give it to other people. The other day she said, I don't want to get political on my channel, but the other day she said, nobody... Um, makes a billion dollars, people steal a billion dollars from their workers. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. It's like the people that are billionaires have completely transformed this world and provided just amazing things for the rest of us to use and better our lives. And good for them. I'm really glad they've done it and they deserve every bit of the money they've got. And most of those people give a shitload more money uh, either through taxes or through charitable courses and philanthropy than she will ever give to anybody. Ugh. I despise the woman. But anyway, I, I absolutely firmly believe, I'm gonna lose subscribers because of this rant, but I firmly believe um, I'm a capitalist. And uh, I think that when we have a society where we don't impose any rules on people for them to be one way or another, this is also gonna get my video flagged so that I don't get any commission from it. But it's like, um, come on, show us the rest of this fucking castle. It looks good. Right, when, when we, have a society where we're allowed to do whatever the fuck we want and we can become incredibly wealthy if we choose to pursue a career of wealth. Oh no, oh yeah, he's back. Right, if we choose to pursue a career of wealth 
and we we do all of the uh, you know that, that's not easy to do. I'm an entrepreneur. I have been for years. I retired in 2003, and I, my all my money comes from the stuff I do myself. But I spent a lot of years making fuck all money and being in a lot of debt. No one was bailing me out. No one was giving me money. I had no safety net. I didn't go to work and get get like a, a wage. I I I you know worked off my own back and. Now I'm successful because I've went through a lot of years of building myself up to be successful, not just with my business, but with my mindset as well. And that's very, very important. Now, when you are in a society where there are benefits and the rich are meant to support the poorer people, then you fall into the trap. Hello, virus definitions. You fall into the trap of those poorer people not realizing what it is that enabled the rich people to get there. Every rich person I've ever met in my entire life, every single one talks about the mindset, the law of attraction being the secret of their success. Uh, but everybody who is struggling to make money tells you that's all a load of bollocks. They say it's all, it's all new age, wishy-washy, uh, uh, fucking positive thinking bollocks that does nothing. Those people are so wrong, it's unbelievable. That side of things is the most important by, by nothing. Like the idea of the law of attraction, focusing on what you want and manifesting it into your life, that is what every wealthy person I've ever met has done to make their money. And then you go out and you do a business and the business is successful. But if you don't do that first, the business is not successful. But... When you get handouts and you've got a socially state and all of those kind of things, people don't tend to look for those uh, those ideas so much. So yeah, I'm a big believer in uh, have have freedom for people to do whatever, have education that's free, but they should teach the law of attraction at school. They should say, hey guys, if you want an amazing life, you have to make it in your mind first. This is how you visualize. This is how you stay positive. This is how you have thoughts in your mind that will manifest and coalesce into your physical reality and manifest only what you want and what you don't want. That's why they should teach people at school. They shouldn't just teach people a load of shit and then when people are thrown out into, into society and they get crap jobs and they can't afford to put food on the table, they give them benefits, that's just a load of shite. Anyway, that's my opinion. <laughs> but there we go. But anyway, back to this castle in the sky. Right, I think Mystical Spot has fallen asleep. Wake up, dude. Am I, am I, I bet I'm, oh no, there's still two people watching. Come on, you've got a fucking audience here. Do something. Show us your castle. Are they speakers or little tiny uh, ovens? I think you need a safety guard around that uh, table saw. It looks very dangerous. If you was to trip and stumble, that would take your face right off. Oh, that'd spot. And it, it would, that would be a shit thing as well, as today is your birthday. Oh, hello. <laughs> wakey, wakey. Do something, people are watching. Oh, it's not you, is it? We're waiting for, uh, for this dude. Can't remember his name. Sekhmet something, wasn't it? Where is it? Hang on, there it is. Oh, Sekhmet Dampier. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. It's my birthday and I'll stream if I want to. What did you get for your birthday? And how old are you? Oh, we've just made the bed. There we go. Right, Mystical Spot is sleeping in a bed. To skip to dawn, all players need to sleep in beds at the same time. To have baby Minecraft people, all players need to sleep in the same bed at the same time. Right, there we go. I think we'll leave it at that. So, uh, whatever your name was, I've forgotten again, because it's not a, an easy name for me. <laughs> right, hang on, hang on. Sekhmet Dampier. I hope that's right. Right, anyway, you've got too many fucking fish. Share your fish. That's just too many. It's too many. Fish go bad so fast. Put some in Mystical Spot's ear while he's sleeping and see if he notices when he wakes up. Well, I'm going to go and do some shit. I've got so much work to do, it's unbelievable. So I am not going to be making many videos, as I said. That's the reason. I've just got a lot of work to do. But I'm getting a lot done. I'm getting cracking on it. But uh, I tell you what, I can't smell that burning smell. So maybe it's nothing to do with my equipment. I hope it bloody isn't. That would really piss me off if something breaks. But uh, it maybe came from outside. But it was unusual that it happened two times. Uh, on two different days, exactly when I was using my Xbox. Perhaps it is something here, and maybe it sorted itself out. Who knows? 
Anyway, guys, I'll see you all soon. You take care. Have a wonderful day. Go on to uh, Xbox Gold if you're um, a member. Download Isle of Man TT. It's fucking brilliant. But you might want to start off with a driver line because without the driver line, it's really quite difficult. I'll tell you what, on that second lap, I was thinking this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one. And then it just all went to shit. So there's a little piggy outside. Right, see you later, guys. Take care. Happy birthday, Sekhmet. And, uh, and have a wonderful uh, birthday. Lots of cake. And depending on what age you are, I hope you get um, very drunk indeed. Unless you're too young to get drunk. Then don't get drunk. That would be really bad. So, <laughs> there we go. Bye, guys. Take care. Tati, bye.